how to use the Digital Intelligence Unit. To turn on the Digital Intelligence Unit, you simply need to press and hold the black button underneath the LCD screen for one to one and a half seconds. The display will shut off automatically after 40 seconds if no further operations have been carried out. The cylinder contents are displayed on the right-hand side of the screen, with each black bar representing 10% of contents. Depending on which gas you are using, additional information will also be available. The gas type can be found at the top centre of the screen. If it's a shielding gas, you will see a series of numbers which represent the flow rate, with the number in bold being the flow rate set. To determine how much longer you can weld with a cylinder, you need to find out what flow rate you are using with a flow meter and then select this value. Adjacent to the flow rate set is an arrow which represents the direction you will change the flow rate. Simply press the black button and the flow rate will change in the direction indicated. To change the direction of the arrow, simply hold in the black button for approximately two seconds. The numbers to the right of the arrow indicate how long you can weld with that flow rate. For the balloon gas, you will see a depiction of the size of the balloon, from extra small to extra large. In the Genie user manual, you can find out which diameters relate to each balloon size. As with the shielding gas cylinder, the arrow changes the balloon size, and the total number of balloons that can be inflated is displayed to its immediate right. For both the shielding gas and balloons, the welding time and balloons inflated are approximate values, whilst the content left in the cylinder will be accurate. For other gases, contents are shown as a percentage of full. Another added feature to the Genie cylinder are alarms. There are a series of alarms set to inform you that the gas content is decreasing. The first alarm occurs at 25% full and below. At this point in time, there will be two beeps, a short pause, then two further beeps, and the LED light on the left-hand side of the panel will flash. At 10% and below, there will be two beeps and two flashes. The contents indicator on the right-hand side will also flash.